Joined here with another one of our Athletes of the Week, Jackie Stokes, taking some time to talk with us. Big win for the Laramie County Community College women's soccer team over Western Nebraska this weekend. And Jackie, first of all, you start the postseason with a team that you felt like you guys should have beaten better by more the first time you played them. How did it feel to kind of show up the way you expected to this time around? I mean, yeah, as you said, we were supposed to win by a lot more our first time around. And I'm just glad as a team that we came back and we knew what was on the line. We knew that this could be our last game of postseason since we have to win here on out to try to make it to Georgia. And just as a team to kind of get those goals and the opportunities and capitalize on them more now than we did back in the regular season just feels great. I think you guys may talk about the capitalizing on goals for yourself. Your first two goals of the season came in this game. And timing is always everything. You always love to score those. But yeah. part of the reason why you haven't, there's so much depth and talent on this team when it comes to goal scores. Has that been nice where you haven't felt pressure to put more on the board because of the fact you have help around you? Yeah, I mean, it feels great to obviously have those two goals under my belt. Um, but it's great to have like the depth on the team and not feeling so much as if I have to do so much for the team. I mean, obviously put everything on the line, like I would die for these girls, but it's nice knowing that there's other people that are goal scorers and can contribute to like the win as a whole. And you were saying that's not really the way it was at your last school. You were yeah. kind of the only person that was there. It, talk about the excitement for this team now too, because you guys went from a team that was struggling to score goals early in the season to now, you've been not just getting opportunities, but finishing those opportunities. Do you feel this team has not made a 180, but really reached its potential? Yeah, I mean, we go out before practice early. Some girls go out probably 45 minutes early just to get shots on and just practice on capitalizing and aiming at the net, like shooting through the net. And Gardner's talked about that we have to capitalize on the chances that we get because sometimes we may not get as many chances. So we have to honestly like try as hard as we can to get the ball in the back of the net because that may be our only time. You guys are going into a doubleheader this weekend, hopefully a doubleheader this yeah. weekend. You never can, can can say it's going to be, but uh, hopefully a doubleheader this weekend, Casper and then the winner of Otero and uh, and I believe Northeastern Junior College losing in their match to Western Wyoming. So a couple of kind of revenge matches either way in, in that championship game. But another chance at a home game after that, because the district tournament game would be held here. How big would it be to this team to have the chance to play one more time in front of the home fans? I mean, I think as a team, I could speak for us all. We love playing on our field. We think that's the best in the region. And we just feel more confident on our field, especially with our fan base and all of the other teams coming to support us. I just feel like we'd love to be back here and we could capitalize on that. We'll wrap it up with a couple questions about your future because it is getting to that time when you start thinking about where you're at next. You've only been here for one year after transferring in, but you're already looking at another D1 school to move back on to, hopefully. But but what's the goal when it comes to playing at the next level? Do you want playing time or are you looking to try and pick a program that you're going to see a good competitive balance in? I mean, obviously, playing time is big for me because I don't want to go somewhere and sit, but... I mean, obviously schooling is important. I want to become a neurosurgeon. So I have a lot of school um, left to complete, but finding a school that I know like has neuroscience, has a good program, and obviously the team will push me to become like the best that I can be. Finally, we'll talk about that balancing out between academics and athletics. How do you do that? Walk us through that because I know that's not easy. Yeah, I mean, obviously it's hard. Um, most days I wake up, well, usually every day I wake up at six and I have to do like schoolwork, especially if it's like for exams and everything else. And then obviously balancing soccer, which obviously is like two hours a day. And then some, because we have team study hall, we have team meetings and obviously coach meetings. So it's obviously really hard. And I didn't choose the easiest subject to study. So um, just being able to like balance that and I have to make a lot of sacrifices with schooling and not being able to go out like with some of my friends when they go out just to hang out 
I have to stay and study because right now I'm currently in seven classes. So, <laughs> really so a lot. Of course, load on <laughs> yeah. for sure. I, I, I said last question, but I forgot to ask you this one. You're from the East Coast. You played your school down at IMG Academy in high school, and then you went to Arkansas. So coming to Wyoming was a bit of a change for you, but you said you loved it out here. And, and yeah. would you do it again? I would. I totally love Wyoming. I love like the atmosphere, the people. The people here are so nice. And I would 100% do it again. Well, hopefully we'll see you back in Wyoming as a neurosurgeon some point in time <laughs> in the future or wherever that takes you. But good luck in your future endeavors. Good luck this weekend because lots more soccer to play, hopefully, for the LCCC women. Thank you so much.